when the air quality outside becomes this severe, we do start to spend much more time indoors. And so I thought that the purchase of an air purifier this year, since this seems to be happening year over year, would be beneficial. Now, something else that I think is very interesting is in regards to COVID-19. We know that ventilation is extremely important. And as we head into the fall and winter months, and as students are heading back to school, it's actually been noted that ventilation is of utmost importance. The fact that SARS-CoV-2 is transmitted via droplets and via aerosols means that HEPA air filters actually can filter out some of these particles and they can be effective in helping to remove SARS-CoV-2 virus from the air. And I will give you the references that I have for this. It could be a good idea for you to have an air purification system in your home, or you could maybe donate one to your child's classroom or to your grandchild's classroom. Now the air purifiers are based on how much air they can filter out. So some are smaller and are made for smaller rooms and then other ones are larger and made for larger rooms. And it's true that in a classroom, you may need more than one air filter to adequately filter out the air. Now, another thing that schools can do is they can also leave the windows open as much as possible. But as the weather gets much cooler, it becomes a little bit more difficult to do that. So the air purifier system, I think, has multiple uses. One of them is for when we have any kind of poor air quality, like wildfire smoke that we're experiencing now, but also in regards to transmission of the virus where we have people who are gathering and we're trying to mitigate the risk associated with transmission of the virus. It's important to note that an air purification system is not a substitute for other public health measures like social distancing washing your hands and wearing masks. However, it can be one more tool in our toolbox to help prevent transmission of the virus. We are seeing that with the Delta variant, we are starting to see children go to hospital now. Children who are unvaccinated, not able to be vaccinated, many are becoming severely ill, some are intubated, and it's really devastating to see the effects of this. Maybe an air purifier would be something that is fairly low cost, even if a few parents would get together to purchase one for their classroom. It's something that I definitely think should be considered. Now it has been shown that HEPA air filters can reduce particles that are as small as 0.01 microns. The SARS-CoV-2 virus is said to be 0.125 microns. And keep in mind that many times these particles are transmitted not only via aerosol, but also via droplets that are much larger, say five to 10 microns. Now I can't tell you that this product does filter out SARS-CoV-2 because there is no evidence for that. I did not find any literature for that, but based on what we know about HEPA filters, it looks like it certainly is possible and it certainly would not hurt. So I made the decision to purchase the Honeywell air purification system based on the fact that I needed something that was for a medium to large area. Also, I compared it to the Dyson air purification system. And so after looking at the two different products and noting the incredible price difference with the Dyson, I decided to look at the filters to make my decision. So how much were these filters costing? And the Honeywell filters are about $40, whereas the Dyson filters are $60. And I thought that, you know, if you're paying this much more for the Dyson versus for the Honeywell, we might as well just go with the Honeywell and see how that works. Setting up the Honeywell air purifier was pretty simple. I took it out of the box. It is a little bit large and long, so you really do have to kind of be careful when you take it out of the box because it could just kind of drop right down because it's in there so tightly. Once you get it out of the box, you need to read the instruction manual. What you need to do is you need to open that side compartment so you can take the actual filters out of the plastic packaging before turning it on. And so that was really easy to do. I was just able to open the side, remove the filters, and it says where and how you need to put them back once you've taken the plastic off. They also note on the packaging that these air filters should not be immersed in water. You don't need to do anything to them other than remove that plastic packaging and then replace them back into the air purifier. The instructions also suggest that 
you place the air filter in a firm, flat location, and also that the back of it not be towards any furniture or any kind of a main wall. You really do need to leave some space there because the purifier will be sucking in a lot of air and then pushing a lot of air out. There are three different settings on here. There is the germ setting, the general setting, the allergen setting, actually four, and there is also a turbo setting. I've had this air purifier going all day today and it though it is not very loud it is actually forcing through quite a bit of air. So I think that it's probably very very effective and it is actually purifying quite a bit of air every hour. So overall I'm really happy with this air purifier. I'm happy with the setup. It was very straightforward. It only took me about five or ten minutes to figure it out, set it up, and it's ready to go. And I also really like that it's not too noisy. It's not going to interfere with any kind of conversation. It's just going to sit there and purify the air so we can all breathe healthier, better quality air. So I hope you found this helpful. Let me know if you have an air purifier at home or if it's something that you're thinking of using. I'll put a link to this particular air purifier in the description of this video. It is an Amazon affiliates link, which means I get like a couple percentage points off of the total or something. But if you find that it's helpful for you or maybe helpful for a classroom, there are a lot of different models based on the room size that you are actually looking for. And it doesn't need to be the big tower one. They do have ones that are for smaller rooms as well. And always a good idea to check those filters as well. So check the prices and the availability of the filters. So I thought this was helpful because it is something that we could consider not just in British Columbia right now while we're dealing with wildfire smoke, but also as we head into the fall and winter months and we have a variant that is now highly transmissible. So this is one more thing that we can do. It's just a preventative measure that we can take. And once COVID is over, I think that it's beneficial just to have better air quality in general. So I think that we will continue to be using the air purifier during times when the air quality is not as good and we are inside more. I hope you found this helpful. Take care and stay healthy. Bye-bye.